What's up guys, Flick here and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 16 Borussia Dortmund career mode. We're going to be continuing our action today in the Euroleague group stage and then having a big derby match against Schalke. This one's going to be at home, so we're looking to get a win in front of our home supporters. We'll be simulating this match against Hamburger SV and then once again we'll have another match in the Euroleague group stage. But here at the start of the video I'm going to address a few comments that you guys left on the previous episode. As we move along with the squad report, I will address one of the ideas that you guys mentioned in the previous episode, and that's having an award ceremony of sorts at the end of the season. And I'm a big fan of that idea. It could be something that I could narrow it down to a couple of players on a few different categories, and you guys can vote in a straw poll as we get closer to the end of the season. So we could do something like the most valuable player, best signing, something along those lines. So if you guys have any suggestions for categories, you can also leave that in the comments section below, and I'll be looking over that and then hopefully as we get toward the end of the season, we can do some voting. You guys also said I should sign up a youth scout because Dortmund is big on signing promising young players, and I'm gonna do just that. We're gonna sign up this five-star experience, three-star judgment German scout. I was waiting for a five-star, five-star scout, but none just seems to be showing up. So we're gonna go with this one, and we can always sign another scout later on down the road. For our first month, we're going to be sending him to Germany for three months looking for a physically strong player. However, if you guys leave some country suggestions down in the comment section below, if we do sign another scout, I'll make sure to send it to the most popular country suggestions. Our second team will be getting the start in this first match. We need to make sure our first team is rested and fully ready for our derby match against Schalke. Mkhitaryan here on the ball. He's going to look for the long shot, and that one is a good save, a good start for us as well. Only three minutes into the game. We're trying to get some more long shots, but we do have a quarter kick here with Mkhitaryan. We'll see if we can put it nicely into the box. What another save by the keeper. He's going off right now, but we're applying the pressure. Ginter on the ball. He's going to play this one inside. It's going to be Zhao. He's going to be able to find Timo Werner. Fake shot. Gets around one defender. Has the shot. And again, the save by the keeper. He is pulling save after save from out of nowhere. Here's Zhao looking to start the counterattack, and he's got a lot of pace. Some good dribbling as well. And he's looking to do it himself. Now he sees Ramos making a nice run on the outside. He's looking to play his back into Jao. Over the top through ball. It's cleared out, but we're going to keep it with Bender. He's going to switch the play. He finds Ginter. Ginter sees a little bit of space for himself. Going to play this one in. It's Mkhitaryan. No, it's Sahin. He's going to play this one through. It just got to be a finish. And there's Mkhitaryan. I was just talking about him. And this time he curls it into the back of the net. A nice start. And this has been a long time running. The keeper's had a fantastic game thus far. But he's not going to be able to stop that shot from Mkhitaryan. Some good build-up passing. And a nice little bit of play by Ginter to initially find Sahin, who sees the run in, and it's an easy finish. It's halftime, and it hasn't been the most thrilling of half is Half is? They haven't had a lot of opportunities, but their keeper is having a heck of a game. So we're going to have to find a way to maybe get one or two more goals to ensure our victory here. Nice steal by Saar. And he's going to lead the counterattack for us. Sees the through ball opportunity. It's Zhao. Can he put this one away? Just needs a finesse shot on the near post. And there it is. That should ensure our victory. And if I remember right, we have not lost yet here in the group stages. And it looks like we'll be advancing to the next round for sure. Bender looking to play it through. And it's going to be Yanzai. Is he going to catch up to it? Yes, he can. He's going to try to get around this defender. He can do so. Still cutting inside. Just needs a finesse shot. Oh, that was not far off from going in the far post. Finds Hoffman. And again, Mkhitaryan looking for Yanzai here on the outside. He's going to try to cut in and maybe get a finesse shot off. Sees the open pass. And again, Bender playing it off. Can we get a far shot from Leitner? Oh, he's going to bang it in off the post. A nice shot that took a bounce before it even hit the post. But the keeper not able to reach it. We get once again a long shot for us. I'll tell you guys, I've learned a new technique uh, thanks to some of my Twitch followers. And they've just been suggesting stuff. And I've been improving my FIFA game as of lately. Oh, what a bit of passing by the team. Can we just play it across once more? Mkhitaryan plays in the middle. It just has to be a finesse shot. Yanazai makes it four. It is getting too easy, guys. The passing from this team is just on point. We gel so well together. We've got a ton of unselfish players who just want to get a good result. Just some beautiful passing to set this one up. And nice awareness by Mkhitaryan. Just played across. Yanazai with a calm finish. Gets it around the keeper. It's 4-0. Oh, that's some poor defending. And they're not going to score off that. That was their chance to get a goal back. There's a full-time whistle, and we absolutely destroyed this match. Getting 13 shots, 11 of which were on target, and also winning the possession battle. It was a nice result for us. All right, it is time for the big one. Dortmund versus Schalke, and we've got a strong team ready to put out. Aubameyang is fully recovered from his injury. 
and he's pretty decent on form. Marco Royce also in incredible form recently, and I'm going to rely on those two players to really get some goals for us in this match. Eric Durham looking to find Marco Royce. He sees some space here on the inside. Can he get around a couple of Schalke players? Just needs to cross it in. Cross sent in, and Fairmont able to make the save. He is a pretty solid keeper. It's going to be difficult to beat. Cross sent in, and it's Huntelar trying to get ahead on it, and he puts it right at Roman Berkey. We need to watch out for him. He's a big aerial threat for them, and he's pretty good on career mode. However, we got Kagwa leading the attack. Prince gets the ball back, and Socrates leading the attack here for us. We're going to look to get this out to Marco. That is a fantastically crafted through ball over to Marco Royce. He's not as quick as this defender, though, and he still has it. Marco looking for a pass, just trying to dribble and find some space. He's going to play this off now, and again... It's good to one. Plays it out wide. Who is this? Kagwa plays it in. And we get it by Marco Royce gets the opening goal for us. We were patient with our play and we were rewarded for it. Marco Royce, I told uh, I told you guys that I needed him to step up in this match. And he does just that. Oh, is he on sides? Huntelar's gonna put it away. I think it might have been Socrates keeping him on sides. I thought we had pushed up far enough to push him on an offsides trap, but that is not the case. Huntelar is clinical inside the box and we can't be letting him have those opportunities. It's halftime and it has been an interesting one. Schalke winning the possession battle and we're pretty equal on the chances created. I'd say Schalke is really trying to target uh, Huntelar in the box. We're just trying to pass the ball around and get anybody a goal. In the first half it was Mark Royce, second half it might be Aubameyang or it might be Royce trying to get us the win. Good one plays in the middle. He's looking for another pass. He sees Aubameyang. He just has to get around with uh, another fake shot. Can he finish this? Aubameyang off the post and in. A little bit lucky to have that one go in. A lot of our goals in this episode are ones going off the post, but we will take that. It was a nice fake shot to set that up in the first place and good vision to find him. And you can see here, just a fake shot to get around the defender. A bit of hesitation in the defense and Aubameyang is going to cl clinically finish that. No way. Are you kidding me? I wasn't commenting over that because I thought it's just another routine cross sent in. But Chalk is going to tie it up once again. I don't know if that's deserved. You can see here. They're just going to go down the wing, play it in, and really A to B kind of stuff. Just a cross sent in and an open header. Some good passing here by Schalke. We need to defend that one going over the crossbar. It's Johannes Geis, a promising young prospect for them who had the shot. Santana, this might be a mistake for them. We're going to keep possession. Durham just has to play to cross. Is Aubameyang on sides? Yes, he was, but Fairmont comes out. What a save by the keeper. This is a chance for us to do some passing. Castro is going to find Brandt. Can he cut inside? This is a good chance for us. He's going to play, play it in. Aubameyang, can he finish this? Aubameyang gets it on the near post, and it's 3-2. to two. We take the lead against Schalke in our biggest match of the season in front of our home fans. This is a fantastic buildup, and Julian Brandt was patient with his passing, finds Aubameyang, and I don't know how he managed to get by those defenders, but he gets by and finishes it clinically on the near post, gets it by Fairman, who has had an incredible day. That was such an intense match and a very rewarding victory against Schalke. That's going to really put ourselves in a great position at the top of the league table. A lot of teams are slacking off, especially Bayern Munich. We'll be simulating this one against Hamburg. They actually lost to Darmstadt, so I'm expecting us to get a good win here. We've got a strong starting 11. Uh, I did decide to get Postlock to start in this one because he requested to get some playtime. So Piszczek is in the reserves in this match. Shouldn't make too much of a difference, though. Castro gets the opening goal before halftime. And we go into the second half now with a 1-0 lead. We'll see if we can make it 2 or 3 for us as we make a couple of substitutions. But into the last 20 minutes, Mkhitaryan comes in for Hermann and Durham seals the deal. Getting a goal in the 76th minute and we win this one 2-0. We've got another EuroLeague group stage match for our final match of the episode, and this is our starting 11. I decided to give Yanezai the start in this one at the left wing position. He played pretty well in the previous EuroLeague game, and I think he can show that form again in this one against Rosenborg. Mkhitaryan starting this game off well as we pick it up with Julian Weigel. We'll see if we can play this one inside. Weigel looking to cut in. He sees Mkhitaryan, and can we finish this? It's too easy, guys. Two minutes into the game on our first attack. The team is so unselfish. And Mikatarin with an easy near post finish on the keeper. Rosenberg's defense just needs to step it up. Good work by Julian Weigel doing most of the work. Just lays it off. Nutmegs the defender. It's 1-0. Oh, cross sent in. We've got to clear that. Nicely done. And they still have it here, though. 
They play it in. This is not good. They play it across. And Dragoski unable to get to it. It was a good and valiant effort by him. But they're going to tie it up. And this is going to be an interesting match. Rosenborg have been one of more, more difficult teams to play in the group stage. And it shows right here some nice buildup and some smart vision to play it across and a good finish. Here are the halftime stats. And it has been a very close game if we exclude the first three minutes where we got our first goal. They've been dominating position and getting a couple of chances as well. So we gotta turn up here in the second half and maybe bring on some of our better players who are on the bench. All right, it is time to make some changes. We are switching up our entire front line and hopefully that does lead to a goal. We need to get one more in this match and not concede. This is not good. This is not looking good. We need to clear it out. No, ref. <sighs> Why are you giving up a penalty there? We could have defended it well, and I think it was Sahin to give it up, and they have a chance to put themselves in front. We're going to have to pull off an incredible save. Can Drogowski do it? The stutter, and he hits the crossbar, and saved by Drogowski. We luck out right there, but I'm not done yet. We need to get another goal, especially after conceding that penalty kick. Marco Royce, maybe he's the man to do it for us. But even him, he can't make an impact on this game yet. There's the final whistle, and Rosenborg played one incredible game in order to pick up a draw. We're still sitting pretty good here in the EuroLeague group stage. Only one game left. It's going to be Ajax in the next episode. But guys, that's going to bring an end to the episode today. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. And until the next episode of this Dortmund crew mode, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.